All right, everyone, new video. So before I go on to the next topic, a uh, little shout out to Oh It's Chad and uh, Wild Phase 098. Uh, recently got hacked, so he had to open up a new account, and he requested me to do a little shout out for him, and hope you like his videos. I'll put the link up on the video description. So, today's video, I promised quite a while ago that I was going to make a lawn equipment tour video, and I wanted to wait a couple of days because I wanted to go to the flea market to see what was available, see what I could add to my collection. And yes, I did add something in there, so you'll be able to see it. And then I'll make an exclusive video uh, later on. So, before uh, you ask why I have so many lawnmowers, well, some people already know this, but if you probably are new to my channel and just looking at this video, I operate a small lawn care business. I do have around 75 clients that I tend to, uh, I would say weekly, every once every two weeks. Most of my clients are have properties very similar to this one. Well, this is 10,000 square feet. Most of my clients, or at least 90% of them, have between, uh, I would say, 3,000 to 5,000 square feet. So you don't really need a lawn tractor uh, for what I need to use. So the lawnmowers you're going to see are mainly two-stroke lawnmowers from the 1980s to the early 2000s. I like two cycles because they have a high power to rate ratio and they're much more better than four strokes especially if you're going to run them for five to seven hours a day which is uh, what I use and then the trimmers are a wide range of variety from home light to Shindewa weed eater and steel alright so let's get started with the tour so I do have uh, three commands I have uh, this one right here this one right here and the main one as you can see I have uh, my two snow blowers here of course it's out of season for it a couple of months I'll be able to record some snow blowing videos uh, so here we have a 2003 Toro power shift model 10 horsepower 28 inch with a Tecumseh snow king motor with an overhead valve uh, this one here is a Mastercraft 10 and a half horsepower, 30 inches, same motor, minus the uh, overhead valve. Uh, this one here is a 1999 MTD rotary tiller with a 5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. I do have a video on my channel. If you just look up uh, my lawn equipment 2011 video playlist, you'll be able to find it. And so is uh, this video. A 53 liter gas tank, which saves me a lot of trips from going back and forth to the gas station. This one we've seen before, it's my 2001 Lomboy 10360C with a 5 horsepower Tecumseh motor. Uh, this one we briefly mentioned in the previous lawn cutting video. Uh, this is the Home Light uh, Zip Start model that I got for 30 bucks at the flea market. It's a home light uh, UT20699. It's a zip model uh, just like my other one except this one doesn't work. So maybe you guys can help me to figure out what's wrong with this one. Uh, the basic problem is that it runs and then it dies. Um, I did replace the spark plug, put a brand new one, uh, put in some brand new fuel lines I cleaned the carburetor, the carburetor looks good but when you get this started, it will start cold it'll run for a couple seconds then it'll die and then once you try to restart it, it just does not start and when I check the spark plug, sometimes it's wet so I, I'm thinking it's flooded but I'm not sure what else I could do with it um, could it be that it needs to be adjusted by the low speed or the high speed adjustment screws. I'm not sure about this because <laughs> I haven't really touched uh, trimmers before. I usually mainly repair lawnmowers. So if anyone can share with me some input on about this, uh, this is good. Last equipment of this uh, command here is a, I don't know, I think an early 2000 Black & Decker lawn hedger. It's around 16 inches. Should get a gas one. Alright, so this caban is probably very familiar to you. Uh, this is the one I had two years ago. 
I used to have an extension going to uh, this side. So we kind of removed it to take this one, this place. But over here, it's really nothing special. It's just a lawnmower deck. Uh, my 10247, for those of you people who are wondering what happened to that lawnmower. Well, it's here, and the engine is currently on my 10323. My 10323's my original engine um, actually kind of blew with a thrown rod and busted out pistons. So a short block is around $200. So that's kind of a little out of my budget to repair a 13-year-old lawnmower. But um, I just swapped the engines and it runs perfectly. So I'll probably feature it in the next lawn cutting video. So you'll see what I mean. Alright, so that's it. And this is the main cabane. You'll see most of my lawn equipment here. And I love this cabin so much. I've recruited some insurgents. Those damn bees, which I hate. Hope I don't get stung. All right, so here's just the main one. You'll see most of my engine equipment. So here we go. Right, so I guess we're going to go to the ones that don't run. Okay, so here is the. 2000 home light uh, ZR blower uh, Fortunately the engine blew and it seized so it doesn't run anymore. So I'm using it as parts for um, Most of my home light trimmers that broke down um, Over here I have my 2000 again It's a BV 1650 weed eater blower. It used to run good and then it decided to quit on me it doesn't run anymore, so um, I don't know if I can get it running or not. Uh, the pulley and the rope handle is used on my Wii Gear XC600. Uh, currently not working. Uh, Ryobi 700R, 1995. And in my country house, I do have a couple of uh, lawnmowers and trimmers. Um, one was the Home Light Z25 SD, going to go ahead and try to repair it as soon as I find a heat damp for it. As well as you've probably seen from the Fixing the Mowers video, I have a 1979 Lawn Boy 5126 and a 1997 Victory Garden with a Sprint Engine 3.75 horsepower. So let's start off with the trimmers first. So here I have my only cordless one, which is a Weed Eater Handy Stick VIP, which is a 12 volt um, battery. Just put a brand new battery in uh, this year, runs perfect, ran for the first time in 10 years. Uh, this was the original trimmer that I used to uh, operate my lawn business before I decided to move on to the Ryobi 700R. So I still actually use this model for some of the closer clients. Uh, the, the battery is powerful enough to do three average lawns, so which is pretty good for me. And I like it because it's lightweight and it saves a lot of gas for me especially because I run between forty to fifty dollars a week on gas just on the lawnmowers and trimmers not to mention buying the oil for them okay this one here is a 2008 home light mighty light 26 cc okay this is my only weed eater it's a 1998 XT600 with a 24 cc engine so this is the probably the best engine that Weed Eater brand has used in, in their previous models, especially on their Feather Leg with their 20cc version. It's been used on older Craftsman, Poulon, and even John Surrett models. So it just goes to show you that even a Weed Eater brand is actually pretty good. Here's a vintage Black & Decker Whipper Snipper, model 820704, which was featured in the Line cutting video that I posted on Friday. 2003 Shindewa 22F Home Pro with a 21.1 cc Kawasaki engine. Runs pretty good. It's made in Japan. Uh, Home Light UT 20772, which does work and run perfectly. Curve shaft model. 95 
Ryobi 700R. This one works, as you've seen during the comparison video. Another curve shaft. Let's move this here. 1985 Black & Decker Lawn Edger, model 8224-04, with a circular saw motor. Alright, some more electric trimmers for you. This one here is a Weed Eater SG14 Snap & Go, with a 14 inch cutting width. As you can see the guard is pretty large on this one. This one here is a Black & Decker ST3000 Grumman Hedge. You can press this button to turn to an edger. Rather use this one over a trimmer because this one's more precise. Lastly, the steel trimmers. So I have here the FS38, the FS70 RCE, which is equipped with steel's easy start system, and my proven FS90R with a 28.4 cc Formix engine, 4 cycle that takes 2 stroke gas. Love this trimmer. And the new addition, a steel FSE 60 electric one. My father actually got me this as a present. It's an 8 pound electric trimmer and <laughs> if you look at it closely it resembles the FS38. I will make a separate video on this because I haven't seen anyone use it on YouTube. Really cool. For the working leaf blowers, this one here is a Weeder 2560 Groundskeeper Plus with an 8.5 amp motor, electric. This one here is a 2009 Steel BG55, runs perfect, very happy with this model. And now it's a uh, commercial brother with a two ring compression engine very similar to the my FS70 BG86. This is an awesome leaf blower that I got from Kijiji at more than half the price at the cost of the brand new one. This one here you're looking at a five year old unit BR420 Magnum. Sure, it's not as strong as a BR600, but let me tell you, put this on your back, you're going to have a lot of fun. And now the many lawnmowers that I have to end the video. So we have here a 1984 Lawn Boy 4630. 1986 5126 that I garbage picked more than two years ago. Still runs perfectly, except it just eats a lot of gas, that's why I don't really use it as much. This is the 10323 I was talking to you about earlier with the 10247 motor which is a 6.5 horsepower Durforce engine. Love this machine, especially its power. This one here is uh, the 1979 Lawn Boy 5247 that I got from the flea market for 50 bucks. Used to run great, I think now it lost spark, so i have sure I have to see if I have a spare ignition coil for it. My 2010 Lawn Boy 10642C, Brooks & Stratton, with ready start, starts up amazing. Some more old timers, this one here is a 1999 10260 with a four and a half horsepower Tecumseh motor. As you can see, it, it's a first pearl wonder. 1979, um, 5277 with the F100 motor. This one here is a awesome sounding Lomboy, uh, 1988-7073. We already featured this one. Uh, the 10401C 2000 model, the last F engine ever built, last model year, I would say. Nineteen ninety three Lawn Boy 10201 with the 4.5 horsepower V engine. 
not as great as the F engines or the E engines I've worked with. This one here is a lot better. Uh, 1987-8243AE minus the electric starter. There's no um, keyhole. Uh, this one here is a Power Plus Black & Decker electric lawnmower. I think it's model LM1820. Over here is uh, 1997 Makita UM401D battery lawnmower. The only thing that is wrong with it, I need a new battery for it, which is about 50 bucks. We'll get to this one in a bit. 1990 Rally DP75AR with a quantum engine very similar to 10642C. Didn't really get around to fixing it. It's too much of a hard starter and it's kind of very heavy to use, so I don't really use it anymore. I will try to get a starting video of it uh, probably uh, this week if I have time. And lastly, my good old 1979, officially now retired, 5269G with a D409 motor. Uh, the biggest problem it has on it is it needs a new pulley system because the pulley system won't crank. And it needs a new governing system which is estimated at the repair shop for $315. So 32 years of long good use, now it's resting in peace. Still going to keep the motor as a collection purposes. So that is all my lawn equipment. I hope you all enjoy this video and thanks for watching.